Hello, welcome to the Regional Transportation Plan Online Open House. I'm Charles Patton, Program Manager for Equity Policy and Initiatives at PSRC. I'm here today to provide you with an overview of how equity has been woven throughout the Regional Transportation Plan. But before I do that, let's briefly review why equity is important. From housing to economics to transportation, there are very serious inequities in our region and clear differences in how communities experience the systems that we at PSRC help both manage and shape. As the region becomes increasingly diverse, disparities experienced by people of color and other marginalized groups will become increasingly important for the overall health of the region. For our region to reach its full potential, all of our residents regardless of their background, must be able to access the resources necessary for them to reach their full potential. And providing this access is not some zero sum game where one group's gain is another group's loss. Research has shown that expanding access to resources is frequently associated with an expansion of opportunities, such as new jobs from innovative ideas. To provide a strong quality of life, and improved outcomes for these marginalized communities, the region will need to continue adapting transportation services to meet the needs of these communities and improve their access to opportunity. As we developed our regional transportation plan, extensive outreach was developed to reach people with low incomes, communities of color, and linguistically isolated populations to inform the plan so we can better meet their needs. Responses were collected in multiple languages and follow-up interviews were conducted to validate and build on the information they provided. The top five priorities of survey respondents included things such as reliable, well-maintained roads and highways, reliable, well-connected transit service for local neighborhoods, expanded transit to major destinations, complete bike ped facilities, as well as high-speed rail. The, the Regional Transportation Plan is committed to addressing the concerns of marginalized communities that for many years were excluded from the planning process. In response to what we heard during this outreach process, strategies to address inequities have been included throughout the plan for various types of transportation services and various types of transportation issues. We also conducted a standalone equity analysis which showed that areas today that have higher concentrations of people of color, people with lower incomes, and other marginalized groups will be well served by our transportation investments. For example, as you can see in the chart, areas with higher concentrations of people of color and people with low incomes are projected to have the greatest access to high capacity transit in 2050. This includes access to rail, bus rapid transit, and passenger only ferries. That being said, as these investments are made in these communities and our region continues to grow, targeted policies and programs will need to be implemented to help prevent displacement of vulnerable populations so they can have the choice to remain in these communities and enjoy these improvements to the transportation system as well as the access to opportunity these improvements will provide. Transportation can play a key role in creating pathways to opportunity for communities that have historically been marginalized and underserved. PSRC will continue thoughtful consideration of who benefits and who is burdened from transportation investments as we prioritize future projects. Although equity is woven throughout the plan, please check out the link below to the equity analysis and chapter two, which includes a dedicated equity section for the draft plan where you can learn more. We love to hear your comments and ideas, so please click on the button below this video to leave feedback, or you can simply go to the main website comment form. All comments we receive will be summarized and presented to PSRC's Transportation Policy Board, a group of elected and appointed officials and other community, business, labor, and environmental leaders as they refine and make changes to the plan this spring. Thank you for visiting our online open house and please make sure you check out the other topics.